Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Haines City, Florida. Haines City, guys. Kind of like in between Lakeland and Orlando slash Tampa, Orlando, you know what I'm saying? Outside the proper pro pie, proper pie company. Say that 10 times. Guys, you're doing an absolutely massive food challenge. So this is the biggest, absolutely biggest fish and chip challenge I've ever heard of, seen of, whatever in my life. And ironically, it's in America, but this place is very proper, properly English. And look here, just for the sake of it, they got my face. They got my face on the board. So I guess this was public. If you missed it, too bad. This was all over my social, all over their social, guys. So all that good stuff. So for today's challenge, we are going to have six pounds. Yes, six huge, freaking amazing pounds of their fried English cod. We have a whole bunch of chips and or fries, if you're not familiar. We have some of their pies, just proper pie company, believe it or not, is very well known for their pies. Um, I believe they I have the option of sweet or savory options, so I'll get all those details. Then it's also served with uh, beans, mushy peas, and curry sauce, which is very, very, very traditional English style. I think that's everything. It's a lot of food, guys. This is, I don't know. It could be like 11 pounds. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, um, I'm really hoping we get the meal for free. It is about $100 if we fail. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, wish us luck. But that, let's head in, have fun, eat food. And I think it's all details. Like I said, 60 minutes, $100. Big giant looking massive delicious fish. Let's go have some fun, eat some food. All right, everybody, so here we are with the fish supper, the proper fish supper. I can say this is massive. So we have six pounds, yes, six pounds of English fried cod. We have what is about two orders of their chips, about almost two pounds, pound and a half, two pounds. I have some of their curry sauce, guys, a very traditional happening. We have a uh, mushy peas. I have some coleslaw. I have some baked beans. Super, 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 super authentic. We have their homemade tartar sauce, which I heard is a very, very, very unique. They have gherkins in it, which are like pickles, and apparently it's quite sharp. They say it's different to the American palate, so I'm excited to give it a shot. I then have to, uh, three other pies, I gotta pick these. So I have, I think this is a chicken and mushroom, and a steak and ale, and then I went with one of the sweet ones as well. I believe this is a blueberry, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so anyway, long story short, I'm excited. It's a lot of food. I'm definitely hungry. Of course, I also have some malt vinegar. It is a, uh, what's an English brand? What is it there? Saucens. 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 It is apparently the malt vinegar. And of course, I have some ketchup. I'm all about that ketchup life, guys. But at that, I'm definitely excited. I'm ready to rock. Huge thanks to everybody came out too, by the way. We've got a great show in here. Appreciate you. <laughs> and with that, guys, let's start a proper fish supper here just momentarily. Restaurants ready to rock? Everybody ready to rock? Perfect. So, how about uh, grab one of these pieces here? Some nice, lovely looking cod. And uh, let's just give it a rock. I think that's the way to do it. And there's a beer batter. Let's say at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mmm. Woo! Woo. That is a meaty cod. Nice flavor though. Mmm. Really nice batter. Mmm. I really like that. That's a good flavor. They said it's a little like, it's a very traditional kind of beer batter. Mmm. Good flavor on it. Mm. You actually taste the, you taste the beer a little bit. But like in a very pleasant way. Mmm. Juicy. Mmm. Oh, guys. Kids, I need to set an example. I better start with the healthy vegetables. We get some coleslaw in this. Kids, take that as a as a as a lesson. Mm. Ooh, good coleslaw. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are taking on a massive fish and chip challenge, a English fish and chip challenge, and this place is British, English, UK through and through. I mean, they're, they do everything proper, you could say, from the pies to the fish to, it's a proper place. I'm a big coleslaw person. Let me know if you like coleslaw down below. So this was an absolutely massive fish and chip challenge. In fact, the biggest one I think I have ever done, I've ever seen, um, in the capacity of like being one challenge. This had six pounds of cod, which was crazy. Then we had all the chips, and we had, of course, all the accompaniments, but we already went through that. Both only 60 minutes. I knew this was definitely going to be a bit of a ride. That's good. That coleslaw. 
delicious. I would show their signature tartar sauce right here. Those are very interesting. Mmm. Wow. That is very different. You know what? I like it. I almost get like a mustard pickle vibe. Mm. Yeah. Try the tartar sauce. It's very, very nice. Mm. I like it a lot. Oh my god, look at this freaking piece. This is this like two pounds. That's huge. I actually really like this batter though. I think it kind of sticks to the fish. Oops. Casualties are being expected. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Also, I'll try this. Fish and malt vinegar. I think it's a thing. Is that a thing? That's a thing. All right, let's give it a shot. I love me some mm, acidity. Woo. Strong taste of vinegar, too. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Vinegar and ketchup. And ketchup and tartar sauce. So I loved how traditional and authentic this all was. Having been to the UK, I can really attest this was exactly like something you would get over there. They also had a lot of different kind of um, British confectionaries like candies, but even like these vinegars, the sauces, everything. Like straight from the UK, which was amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is insanely massive. <laughs> Does the picture do this justice? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> this is a lot of food. But I love, look at that delicious meaty cod. That's one thing about cod, guys. I think it was awesome that they make some of their sauces, like that tartar sauce, which was just absolutely delicious. I was trying this curry sauce, which is a very English thing for the curry sauce and fish. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Great flavor. Nice and thick curry sauce. I got options. I got so many flavors here. Mm. Great crunch. Of course, we'll try some ketchup. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm all about that ketchup life. Try a little bit of vinegar or uh, tartar sauce. Oh wow, woo, that is a combo. Man, I love that tartar sauce. Mm. And if you're ever in central Florida and are inquisitive of what you know a lot of United Kingdom items and cuisine is like, this is the place to come on by. It's literally like a little England in, well, Florida. Um, and even if you've been, you know, to the UK and you want a place to reminisce on your adventures, again, 100% would recommend. Um, the staff are awesome here. The food, again, like I said, just super, super authentic. Um, and so far, I mean, we only got to really try the fish, whereas hopefully we also get to attempt to, uh, to eat all these pies here. Five and a half inch in. Man, guys, look at this freaking fish out. This is giant. This is probably the biggest piece. This is heavy. Look at this. <laughs> there's like, there's weight to that. Well, no shortage of fish today, but I got no complaints about that. Mmm. Ooh. You know when it's good, it's good. This is good. Mmm. And I love all the different flavors. But that really is pretty much the majority of the info. There's definitely some natural commentary uh, throughout this video, so I'll leave you to it. But lots of fish, lots of chips, and uh, well, lots of these little different accompaniments. But I gotta say, let me know what you think of tartar sauce. Some people love it, some people hate it. Give me a comment down below what you think of tartar sauce. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Whoop. Look at that, look at that thick. That's like three C's right there. Thick. <laughs> oh man.
I'm aging. Seriously, if you want a like really nice fish and chips, shout out that. This crazy, like delicious charger sauce. Really good. It was actually better than some of the fish and chips I had over um, in the UK. And I'm not just saying that. This is actually very, very delicious. Huge, like the pieces on here are just amazing. And I love the, all the flavors. If you ever tried mushy peas and curries and stuff with your fish supper, you probably had a proper, probably haven't had a proper fish supper, but excuse me, comments of the chef, you should definitely give it a shot. Excuse me, woo, very good. Let us also appreciate the reasonable portion of chips we got with the fish. Always a big fan of reasonable portions. Of course, this is not reasonable, but nonetheless. Last piece of fish. Whew. I'm gonna deck this out with a little bit of everything. But man, this stuff's good. I almost wish this wouldn't end. <laughs> Big fan, guys. And for those of you wondering, I did want the lemon. They offered the lemon. I'm not a lemon on a fish person. If you like lemon, you can let me know down below, but this is what you need right here. Woo wee! I'm glad you're gonna enjoy dinner and a show with me today. Mm -hmm. Woo! Alright guys, I think we're about 13 minutes in. Unfortunately, the fish is gone. That was, woo! Love that, and then this tartar sauce. Try it, try the tartar sauce. I'm surprised it said something like a lot of people didn't like it. Or it's at least very different. I like it a lot. It's definitely more like pickly, like so I'm just gonna like a little mustard pickle vibe in there. But fantastic. Oh, excuse me. All right. Now probably, well, I'll use the curry sauce for these chips. Probably use a little more of that fish, but tartar sauce kept my mind. Mm. This chip is definitely very reminiscent of the United Kingdom for me, like a chippy style chip. If you ever been to a chippy, you know what that is? Comment down below. Definitely very authentic. I also do like chips, not fries, I should say chips and vinegar as well. And with ketchup, not tomato sauce, ketchup. Woo! Delicious. My only one complaint is it's hard to get enough vinegar into the fries. I'll just sip the vinegar. Woo! Well, that was a strong one. Great. Very great. <laughs> it's one way to do it. <coughs> Don't inhale it though. <laughs> it tastes good, but ooh, it don't breathe good. <laughs> about maybe 16.45 or 17 minutes into fish and chips and chill. Very delicious. <laughs> I 
There we go. Fish is gone, chips gone. Now I'm on the pies, beans, and mushy peas. I will try the beans. I think like this is just a standard bean. Mm -hmm. But just like that, you get in the United Kingdom. And honestly, beans and meals, guys. Beans and breakfast, beans and fish suppers. I'm okay with it. It's like a canned bean. Tastes good. Mm. And mushy peas. A real staple. So if you're not familiar, I basically like split peas and then cooked and or mushed or mashed. Down to the pies. So the name like the proper pie cut. I'm sure there's some proper pies. I'm excited to give it a try. And then they like the sweet one and the savory ones being like, get like a, like a steak and ale, chicken and mushroom. Anyway, I don't know which one to try first. Maybe I'll try this uh, chicken and mushroom. This is like the mini size. Of course, they have the big ones as well. Oh, excuse me. That looks like a very good pastry. Crust and shell, but let's uh, give it a shot. Mmm, woo! Oh, chicken and mushroom. Mmm, great call. Mm. Oh, incredibly, incredibly flaky pastry. Mmm. I love how much meat there is in there. That mushroom. You know what it makes me feel like? It's comforting. It's almost like it's like Christmas or a holiday season. It's like a warm embrace. Mm. Try this ale one. Mm. Steak and ale. Very good. This would definitely get like a little bit of a, almost like a Guinness, a, a beer to it. Heavy items though, but delicious. Now everybody, last but not least, I was able to have dessert including the challenge today. This is a blueberry pie. Give us a shot. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That looks nice and juicy. Yeah. About 23 minutes yeah. in. I know, I'm sorry it's ending too. Nonetheless. <laughs> Blueberry pie. Whoa ho ho! Woo! Wow. That is a punch of blueberry. Super sweet, super flavorful. I think we are finished at that. Finished? Finished. Finish, guys. Woo! All right. It's all good, guys. Thank you. Like I said, I appreciate it. Everybody's done a great job. But you guys were super quiet. You did not have to. <laughs> so, and there's a lot of people in here. So, uh, hey, guys. First off, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate you guys. Um, huge thanks to the proper Pico. What a delicious challenge. And like, I just learned something. I learned, I like savory pies. I'm sorry. You asked me prior to this, and he was like, I asked, I asked the, the gentleman, his name's Mark, the owner, I was like, what pie should I try? I'm thinking I'd go all dessert. He's like, you should try these savory ones. I'm like, he said it. I am glad I did. Wow, guys, it is like, like I said, it's like a warm embrace. It makes me feel like it's Christmas, holiday, etc. I love it. I gotta say, like, yeah, super cool. Um, but hey, that fish and chips was delicious. Really enjoyed that cod, that batter, 
Ooh, excuse me, the flavor in it is fantastic. Comments to the chef. This tartar sauce is really cool. I kind of wish we're gonna talk. So like, I, I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this recipe because it was just the nicest pickly slash mustardy. Like I like all those flavors. I like strong flavors, and that was delicious. I got no complaints, guys. This was just. That was great. And that blueberry pie, what a fantastic way to finish off. Again, those are the smaller ones. We obviously have the great big pies as well. I cannot take one with me. Trust me, I have no room in my bag. Uh, otherwise, I would consider it. But yeah, if you're ever in the area, Haines City, stop on by. We have people coming a couple hours away, so I really appreciate you guys traveling in. Um, so that we do get free, which is pretty cool. I think the final time was, what did we say, about 23.40s? 23.40, guys. But yeah, I got no complaints. They have um, kind of like a whole bunch of uh, English confectionaries here too. Quality Street Celebration. Um, dodgy Jammers or Jammy Dodgers. And all these other things that I only saw over in the UK. So it's actually super exciting to see them here in Central Florida. Um, at that, I'm not gonna lie. Not that I'd ever recommend it. Now, I'm not even recommend eating this much food. But I might try just a one or two bites more. Guys, that was damn good. Those pies were light, were awesome. And they got some holiday season treats that are like really exclusives here. So maybe, 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 maybe. 2,000 years later. Got some specialties. So I got a um, legit shortbread. Guys, I have never seen shortbread in like a slice. Like usually it's like a cookie. That is a legit shortbread. Of course they make it all here. Homemade. They have a minced meat pie, which, pause the video right now. Do you think minced meat is actual meat? Comment down below, because it's not. It is not actual meat. It's like dates, kind of raisins. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know, not like a, I don't know. I'll show you when I bite into it. And then we have an Eccles cake. So this is some very, very traditional in and around Christmas. It's basically like dough, butter, and brown sugar with raisins. So let's be honest, sugar and butter, how can you go wrong? I'll try this uh, minced meat to go first. Mm, lovely winter spices, a bit of orange in there. Looks like that. Kind of reminds me of like a fruitcake. I don't like fruitcake stuffed pastry shell. Nice though. Mince me. Don't know where the name came from. Probably like, I don't even know why. Do you know why they call it mince meat? No. Google, somebody will Google it. Let me know down below. I'd love to read your comment and know. Try a shortbread. Which is a chunk of shortbread. I've never seen shortbread like this. Must be a English thing. Mmm. Woo. That is rich. There is some butter in that. Man, that's good though. Mmm. So so so. Just like light, kind of that lovely crusty, flaky shortbread. Mm. The only thing I'm missing. It's a cup of tea. Next time. Maybe I'll have it. We'll see. Really nice throat I only plan to have a bite of all this. I ate way too much already. Nice nice moment. It's Eccles cake. Never tried this before. Mmm. Oh, man. I'm getting a flaky pastry. Lovely, chewy texture. Mmm. Almost like a caramel. Oh man, delicious. I really chewy. I love that texture. Amazing. What do you recommend? Delicious. Thank you for watching. Huge thanks over here. This is awesome. And of course, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it, guys. So, with that, have a good day. Goodbye. Stand up. Well done. Yeah. And you guys don't have to be quiet. You guys can talk. Oh, <laughs> hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. 
And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face, and with that, thank you so much, you rock.